Sarah, can you please share the screen? Zara, are you there? Namaste, Adab, and a very good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Mohammed Umar Khan, is going to be the event manager for today's session. Welcome, everyone, to the 49th episode of Young Empowerment Talks Club. Well, why this club? Our mission is to support young children and adults to communicate better and express themselves effectively, as well as enlighten them with practical knowledge about life and therefore help them achieve their dreams. We have a vision of empowering children and young youth with prominent skills like communication skills, leadership skills, and other social skills, which would make them stand out in different aspects of their life. In short, we are trying to help you communicate better or even better, helping you become public speakers Great leaders start off as great followers. We are also trying to help you become the better leaders the world needs. Well, self-management. If you wanna become the better versions of yourself, you need to join Young Empowerment Talks Club because this club helps you to develop self-management and self-management helps you to become the better versions of yourself which also leads to a happy life. Brain City is sponsoring some of the clubs, such as Phi AM Club, Ultimate Mastermind Club, Empowerment Talks Club, Entrepreneurs Connect Club, Ebukri Show, and finally, the Young Empowerment Talks Club. All these clubs come under Brain City, which actually supports us. Here are the founders, of Empowerment Talks Club. On the left, we have Faisal Ibrahim, sir. He is the founder of Empowerment Talks and Associated Clubs. He is a conversationalist and business speaker. He is a company formation consultant in UAE. On the right, we have Yash Rawat. He is the co founder of Empowerment Talks. He is a conversationalist and wisdom content creator. He leads the team at Alphantime Group in Dubai. And here are the co-founders of Young Empowerment Talks Club. On the left, we have Anil Thomas. He's an aviation engineering professional with qualifications and passion in applied psychology and management. He is a international coach, career counselor, science popularist, and a mentor. On the right, we have Syed Harris. He's a trainer for Macmillan Education. He's an international speaker and a mentor. Here are the leadership team of Young Empowerment Talks Club. And these are our young leaders. And this is the poster for today's session. And Naina Shaiju Ma'am is the guest speaker for today's session. Have a look at it. And this is the agenda for today's session. I'll give you a minute to go through it. Do you want to join us in conducting sessions in this show? Well, don't hesitate to contact us on this number on WhatsApp. Thank you. Thank you for giving your valuable time and joining this session. And now I would like to hand over this session to the host of today's session, Zara. Well, Zara is a young coder and computer programmer of Bangladesh. She's the, she is a British council and a reader. She is a delegate at MUN. She's a pioneer debater at Scholars Club. She's a certified participant at Mathematics Olympiad BDMO. She is a Channel I TV presenter for kids. And please go ahead, Zara. Thank you so much, Omar, for that fantastic introduction. A very good evening and a heartful wishes to every one of you. 
of Gubunima. Aren't Saturdays meant just for amazement? Well, yes, indeed they are. And I'm absolutely honored to be the host for today's wonderful evening. Starting off with this, you all can unmute and say hi. 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 Wow. So, guys, before we dive deep into today's afternoon, uh, um, I mean evening, yeah, evening, there are some rules that we need to follow. First of all, you all need to keep your mics on mute unless the speaker asks you to unmute and speak. We need to respect our honorable speakers, right? But feel free to turn on your video because we would love to see all of your cute smiling faces end to end. Secondly, I want you guys to be named with your full name because we don't want to call you Samsung or iPhone or with your mom's name, dad's name, brother's name, sister's name or whoever's name. We want to call you with your own beautiful name. So to rename yourself, you can go to the participants list, click on your name, click rename, and you can type in your name. So for today's beautiful evening, we will be talking about an absolutely fantastic topic. We are here at the Young Empowerment Talks every Saturday to build up our leadership skills. The best leaders are those who can continue learning and going through positivity as self-management Vibing sharing. So today we have put together two of the most impactful words ever and come forward with you with yes and. I sense of impro it's all about a game engaging and fun but very impactful in creating leadership skills where we all accept to other participants talking point of view. So let me not proceed too far with into my words and hand over the session to the amazing lady here with us today. Nana ma'am, you won't believe how honored I am to be able to introduce such an astonishing speaker, one of the best indeed. Nana ma'am is a business developing executive, distinguished Toastmaster, art of selling specialist, marketing manager with Brain City, improved artist content creator, and a fitness expert. So over to you, Nana ma'am, and the podium belongs to you. Thank you, absolutely. Pleasure, Zara, for hearing that beautiful introduction. But I cannot see you. Is that your young age picture? All right. So good evening, Zara, and good evening, everybody. Is it good evening or good afternoon or good morning in whichever part of the world you are joining from? So we will be starting with the first game, OK? So the first game is you have to find a partner for today's program, because it's all about playing a game with your partner. So the first game is who will wink the eye first? So you will look at, like everybody is on the screen. It's not about winking, winking. It's about that game where you see each other's eyes. I don't know if there are a particular name for that. Anybody knows what is the name? Yes, Nimisha? If you can't unmute, just put it on the chat. Stare, okay. The name of the game is stare. So you stare at each other, okay? So now the very first thing which you need to do when you play a game of stare is of course you have to put on your camera. Okay, and then you find a partner for yourself. So go ahead and find a partner. If you're on the phone or you're on the laptop, choose a partner, put it on the gallery mode or a speaker's view. Yes. Can I ask Nandana, Omar, Zara, Hiran, my Yes, who's playing this stair game? So Gautam and Gaurav can start with your stair game and let me, tell me in the chat box who will win. 
You know what's a stair game, right? You look at each other's eyes and the one person who like blinks his eyes first is a loser who doesn't blink is the winner. Okay? Yeah. You can unpin me. Okay. And now the game starts. Everyone got the partner? Has everyone got the partner? Now, Feed, you can select one person from the group. Hiranmay, you can select Nimisha, maybe. Gina can select Srinidhi. Nafi, then Omar. Nivedita and Nidisha, maybe. Okay, guys, we will not go forward unless we have people coming on camera. We are talking about public speaking, and the first thing which you have to do is face the audience. Come on, my dear children. Come on, camera. Yeah, the game is already begun between Gautam and Gaurav. I can see that. Yeah. I think now you can unmute yourselves. Okay, Nivedita and Nimisha. Nidhi, you got some partner? Okay, raise your hands if you have not got the partner. Nidisha, come on camera. Zara, please come on camera. Yes, Srinidhi and uh, Hiranmay can go. Srinidhi and Hiranmay, okay. Lower your hand. Nidhi and Anaga. Anaga, you have to come on camera to play the stair game. Yes, Nidisha and Nidhi can go. Nidisha and Nidhi. Great. Anybody else who's not found the partner? No? Everyone got the partner? Nivedita, who's your partner? Anaga G, net is not allowing. Uh huh. Okay, so whoever found the partner, start with the game and whoever wins, put your name on the chat box. Three, two, one, Srinidhi? Okay, three, two, one, go. Hope you all are looking at your own partner in the screen. Gaurav Gautam finished. Nafid. Omar, are you playing or no? Not playing? Okay, yeah. Omar and Nafid, right? Okay. Srinidhi one. Nimisha one. Who else? Who else? Come on. Nafid won. Who won under Gautam and Gaurav? You all blinked each other? Yes. <laughs> all right, great. So put a show on a reaction button. How was the game? Boring? <laughs> All right, then. So let's start with today's session. But before that, Zara has given a lot of information about the program, what I'm going to talk. I thought I'll keep it a surprise. And hence, I kept a very unique or not so common topic. Yes, and. So how many of you heard about S and other than what Zara spoke? No one. 
great. And hence, I want you all to start with the show today. Let me share the screen. All right, now I'll request the host to pin me if possible, or it's fine. All right, so the topic what we are going to talk is, yes, and before we start, okay, there will be a lot of work you guys will be having. I hope you all gave some exercise to your fingers because you'll be using a chat a lot more than you all use otherwise. First of all, what is hypothetical? Put it on the chat box. What do you mean by hypothetical? Hypothetical situation, hypothetical question, hypothetical answer, idea, but not yet real possibly. Okay, somewhere there, not real, okay. I don't know, that's a very nice answer. Okay. Imaginary thing. Yeah. Appropriate answer. Supposed but not necessarily real or true based on a theory, imaginary. Okay, great. Right. So hypothetical is something which we create. Okay. It's not by real, but we create a, a scenario or a scene. Now, Remember this word hypothetical because I'm going to bring back this world before we close the program. And I mean, there's a game involved keeping this mind. The very first thing what we learn in this game is hypothetical, okay? The unknown thing, okay? Imagined or suggested, but perhaps not true or really happening, okay? It's just, uh, in Hindi, we say Brahm. <laughs> Next question, what is brave? What do you mean by brave? What is being brave mean? Yeah, go ahead, put it in the chat box, Nimisha. Brave is being strong, brave is not scared, brave is being humble and independent. Uh-huh, that is hypothetical. <laughs> Having mind to do something dangerous or to risk. That is adventurous, Tana. Ready to face and endure danger or pain is brave. Mm -hmm. Not really. Courage, okay. Being nice to each other is brave, okay. Courage to face anything, courage. Courage is brave. <laughs> courage is not brave, Nivedita is saying. Okay. So be brave is brave, okay? Just be brave. So what I'm going to say today is when you're playing this game, just be brave, okay? So this is point number two. First thing, remember hypothetical, then remember what is brave. Then move on. So imagine there is a game, which is called as game of yes and no, okay? There's a, there's a game, the game has yes or no, okay? So imagine the question is, Oh yeah, I would request everyone if today, for today's program, if you cannot hear, or if you want your partner to repeat something, you will be saying, potato, please. Okay? You won't be saying, pardon me, can you repeat? I did not hear, I was not listening, nothing. What are you going to say? Repeat it. Potato, please. Exactly. Potato, okay? please. Yeah, so when I'm saying something and if you didn't get it, what do you have to say? Right. Potato, please. Okay, so my question was, if there is a yes or no question, okay? If somebody is giving you a question, answer me with yes and no. And the question is, if you were a food, what food would you be? So what will be your answer? Yes. <laughs> yes, and? Okay. So 
this is a hypothetical situation here. So if the situation is yes or no, do not frame a question which is out of the topic. Okay, be in the be in the program, be in the situation. Listen carefully and answer. And if you cannot listen, what do you have to say? Potato, Potato please. Ah, there's something which you guys like. That's what, that's for sure. Okay, now the next question. All kittens are born with blue eyes. Can you answer this with yes or no? No. No. So, no. Oh. Wow, you guys didn't know this? Okay. It is indeed. All kittens are born with blue eyes. The answer is yes. What happened? Okay. All cats are born with blue eyes because their eyes don't have melanin yet. This is the natural pigment that shows their eye color. So the answer is yes. So what, what I mean to say here is, if there is a situation of yes or no, frame a question in that way so the partner can say yes or no. Okay, do not frame a question rather different topic out of this world. It can be hypothetical, but it cannot be some different question, okay? Now we are moving on to the second step of the game. The second step of the game is one fact, okay? Now there is a situation, you have to talk about a fact. Uh, don't bother if you're not using the chat, it's fine. Whoever is in the program will get to learn something. Whoever doesn't have understand the program will not learn. So now the question is one fact, okay? So tell me the fact here. A shrimp's heart is located in its head. Head. Tail. 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 Yes. Stomach. Head. 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 Okay, so that's the fact. How far is fact from hypothetical situation? Ignore. It is not a yes, no question. Okay, so let's move on. So the answer is correct. The shrimp's heart is located in its head. So there is a little description also given on the top. Now, the third step of the game is adding and. Okay, remember, first is hypothetical situation. Second step is adding the fact. The third is adding and. Oh, there is one rule in the game. There is always a rule in the game. So if there are no rules, people will make their own rules. So what is the rule of your game is make your partner look good. Okay, for example, your partner comes and says um, some situation like, oh, you look beautiful today. Okay, that is not exactly the partner would say. So what will be your reply? Always the reply will be yes and, okay? Listen carefully. You guys are going to get in trouble if you're not listening properly. Okay. Now raise your hand. Raise your hand and give me a hypothetical line for this image. You have to give one fact, okay? And then add and. It has to be hypothetical. Who wants to go first? No one? What is the photo? photo? What is it in the picture? Nobody knows the name. It's marshmallows. Marshmallows. Okay. I request everyone, do not unmute yourself. Just raise a hand. That will help. Okay, let's go with uh, Tanzila. Tanzila, give me a line about marshmallow. Tell me something about marshmallow. It comes in all colors. It comes in all colors, okay. And then, and somebody else. 
maybe uh, nafid and they're tasty and they're tasty yeah good good going i like it now give me one hypothetical line about this particular image uh who wants to go nidhi yeah tell me something about this flower Um, cherry blossoms come in pink and white. Is it hypothetical? No, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, try one more time. Think big. A little confusing, huh? Everyone is scratching their head. Nivedita, do you want to say something? No. First time you don't have to say something. Wow, I'm surprised. Uh, Omar, can you give me a hypothetical situation about this this particular image? Oh no, it's getting so something? hot here. Can I do huh? something? Yeah, go ahead. this pink tree is uh, possibly found in uh, areas around mount fuji <laughs> that's good you have a good imaginary and... I, i actually found it on a book a few days ago so yeah okay and you have to add one more line and, and it looks beautiful it looks beautiful okay great thank you so much so now let's begin the game okay the game is collaboration and hypothetical okay that's it i'm going to stop share now okay now i'm going to request everyone to come on camera how am i going to stop share uh, if you move your mouse to the top there should be a, a bar that comes up and no 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 i can i can say stop share but It's not clicking. Uh, try hitting as as the escape button. That that should. Yeah, also... I tried. It's okay. Forget it. So let let uh, host. Can you just stop stop share my screen? Okay, great. So now I need two volunteers. I need two volunteers who will come forward and find a two volunteers who played the game together with the. the blink maybe nidhi and nandana okay nidhi and nandana i can see you all both in the screen nandana are you busy wow guys okay i can see tanha tanha are you there yes ma'am okay so get the situation okay you have to find a partner and the partner is nithi okay now you have to think about your old memory old memory where you and nithi were friends long long time ago okay and you have to create a hypothetical situation some situation i mean it is not for real right something and you have to go and talk to her about it so say something to nithi hi nithi uh do you remember when we went to the park and found a lost kitty okay uh, one second nidhi uh, uh, sorry tanha you have to just use okay no problem okay and you found the kitty so now it's nidhi's turn nidhi you have to add and to her situation you have to say yes and yes i remember and right after that the owner came to get it wow give her a round of applause give her a round of applause okay now get into second situation okay who wants to go ahead who wants to go ahead 
It is so difficult to find you guys. Okay, Nivedita has raised her hand. Anybody else? Anybody else? Gina, okay. Gina and Nivedita, okay? Now go ahead and refute the person, okay? Gina is going to say something and Nivedita is going to say no, okay? Yes, okay, go ahead, Gina. Um, hi, Nivedita, do you remember when we used to read in the same class? No. <laughs> Okay, Gina, make her remember something, something more. And we were in the same section too. Now I'm remembering something. Oh, okay, okay. Now reverse the situation, okay? Nivedita is going to say something and Gina is going to say yes. Okay, Nivedita, yeah, go ahead. Anything hypothetical? Okay. Okay. Uh, let Gina do it again. Gina, do it again. And this time, Nivedita is going to say yes. Okay. Um, hi, Nivedita. Do you remember when we spent our summer vacation together and we went to a foreign country? Yes, I remember. And, and, and add to it. What happened there? And, and you all ate ice cream together. Yeah, that one. Okay. And we all ate ice cream together. All right, fine. And you all ate the ice cream together. Fine. Okay, I think it is getting very cluster now. I think it's the game is not moving forward. So not what I want everyone to do is find your partner again, find your partner. And who's having this fear of that you, they cannot do this thinking? Is there anybody who think they cannot do this thinking again? Who has not participated till now? Adib, Adib, are you there? Wow, half the people are not there. Okay, Tanzila is raising hand. Okay, Tanzila and Omar, go ahead. Okay, now what we're gonna do is till one person denies, you guys have to continue talking. You get that? So what till now what was happening is was just one sentence, right? So you both have to now create a situation. Okay, before that, let us understand from the team. Team, tell me, put it on the chat box. What do you think is the relationship between these two people here? Like a doctor or a patient, a teacher or a student, uh, something like that. Give some, some relationship. Yes. I'm waiting for the chat. Classmates. Oh, classmates is so boring. Doctor and a patient. Uh -huh. Okay, give some hypothetical situation. Anybody? Anybody creative? Police officer and civilian met in the mall. Alien and civilian. I like that one. Alien and civilian. So who were the two people? Who were the two people? I forgot the name. Tanzila and uh, Omar, right? Tanzila and Omar, please uh, pin them up. Pin the both of them. Uh, finish. So, I pinned them. Okay. One person is an alien and one person is a civilian. Okay. It's a hypothetical situation. And everyone together, tell me, you have, we have to start with this. Three two, one, action. Okay, everybody say together. Three, three two, 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 one, 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 action. 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 Yeah. 
Go ahead. So I am alien or a civilian? You can you can start. Yeah. Can you please start then, Yeah, behave like an alien and start doing something. Put it up, yeah, please. She please said start potato start. speed, please. Can you please start? You start, Tanzila, you start. Okay, I will be the alien. Okay, mm. go ahead. Once I came from, uh, once when I visited Earth from Mars, uh, do you remember uh, seeing me? Yes, I do. And, uh, I remember you were you were going to die, right? I was almost, but uh, somehow I got saved. And yeah, continue, continue. And I was Did finally I ready to go back. Okay, cool. Yeah, Omar, yes, and yes. Yes, and? yes, and no, she didn't ask me any question. Okay, you need to say something. The rule is yes, and so whatever she says, just yes, and okay. yes, and what are you doing right now? Being an alien, ah, no, 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 yes, and it cannot be a question. You have to continue the same, continue the game. Yes. What do you, have you ever been to a sun being an alien? Potato please. Have you ever gone to sun being an alien? Yeah, and I remember getting burned a lot. And seen. Okay, fine. Give them a round of applause, please. Give them a round of applause. So these guys were in a difficult situation when given a hypothetical situation, right? Now, I will tell you why hypothetical situation is important. You know why? Because we don't know what is going to happen in the future. Okay, so what is going to happen in the future is a hypothetical situation by itself. So two important things here, you have to listen carefully what your partner is saying and then analyze the situation and quickly reply. So there are a lot of things happening. So if we don't listen, then it will be just become potato, please. Okay, so let's go on with some two more partner, two more partner. Give me a situation and give me people who wants to play. Okay, I think I request everyone to be on camera. If you're not on the camera, you're open to leave the program because it's not fun. Yeah. Tell me, who's next? Gaurav. Okay, Gaurav and Hiranmay. Hiranmay, are you there? Okay. Gaurav and Hiranmay. Tell me the situation. Others, put a situation on the, give me the relationship between the two people. Just a minute. <laughs> Just a minute and, uh, is the situation. Okay. The, for the song? No, who's speaking? Nafid, so that I can Okay, so them. we'll go Nafid and, okay. Enemy and hero. Okay, a villain and a hero. Nice. Villain and a hero. Nafid and Gotham. Okay, you all don't have to say who's the hero, who's the villain. Just continue acting and accept, say yes, and, okay? Willard and hero is going to say yes, and. So let's see how good is the situation. If you do not listen to it carefully, you have to say? Potato, please. Exactly. So everybody in the audience. Three, two, two, two one, 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 action. action. 
I see your back at ruining people's lives. Potato, please. So I see your back at ruining the city. And the people are not enjoying it. At all. Gaurav, you didn't hear that? No, ma'am. Why? I didn't get it. What are you saying? Okay, be a little louder, Nafit. So I see your back at so I see your back at destroying the city. And the, the civilians here are definitely not enjoying it. Uh, yes, yes, uh, I do remember. And they um, told us this is going on in the present. This is going on in the present. Uh huh. Difficult situation. Yes. And continue the conversation. Uh, yes, and um, actually, uh, I had to do it because they were like fighting my army. So who's the villain? I was I was thinking of being the hero. Right? Yeah, yeah, so I'm the villain. That's why. Yeah. Yes. So and you behave like a villain. Why, why are you talking like that? Behave like a villain. Okay. Yes, and your army were like trying to destroy my army, so I had to fight back. We caught you on our red radars, and we found out that you was planning on attacking the city, on a, on a, on taking over the world. So keep, keep we had to short stop. Sentence. Keep keep sentences short. Uh, Like, uh, potato, please. <laughs> okay, and scene. No problem. Give them a round of applause. I can see that they're, they're having a lot of issues in accepting the hypothetical situation. This is hard. Yeah. This is how the life is, right? You don't know what is going to happen. What is people going to talk to you? So that is how you get prepared. So when you say yes and your brain starts thinking and it is very easy to say no. It is very easy to say no. But most of the time when there is a situation, when the principal says something, when the teacher says something, it is difficult to say yes, ma'am, and add something to it. Okay, it's very easy to say no and get over it. But that is not the life is. So how improvisation improves our life is by learning how to say yes and. So there are people who do courses in UK and US, there are, it is also called as critical thinking courses. Critical thinking courses is nothing but being creative in answering the questions. So the very, very basic thing of improv or improvisation is yes and in any situation and take it forward, okay? So let's now play another game, okay? Another game is also a little difficult but I think it's easy for you guys. So the game is questions only. What is the game? Questions only. Okay. So somebody is going to ask, what is your name? Okay. The, quest the question is, what is your name? So what will be the answer for the question in a question format? You can put it on the chat box. Yeah, that is nice. Tanzila, I liked your question. So that's a, that's a good one. You answer the question and then you again ask the question. Okay, so then the, the story moves forward. Right, so now let us make two teams. Let us make two teams again. Okay, uh, so Hiranmay, are you ready now? Oh yeah. Okay. And Hiranmai and Gautam ran away. 
Srinidhi is here. Srinidhi, are you ready? Uh, you can no. raise your hand. The game is yes and not no. <laughs> okay. Only Hiranmay is ready. Who else is ready? Come on, guys. You guys like playing games. Everyone is running away from the game today. Tanha. Okay. Tanha and Hiranmay. The situation is... Uh, the situation is... Uh, hospital okay there is a uh, there's a nurse and there is a doctor uh, not nurse and a doctor the nurse and a patient okay and the game is questions only okay yes so audience what do we have to say uh are you scared um i'm more worried about what the disease is of the patient potato please what's the disease of the patient listen carefully here on my yes. what did she ask she said am i scared so who's the patient you said it's doctor and nurse, right? Not doctor. No, no, no. It's a, it's a nurse and a patient. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what disease do I have? Um, I don't know yet, but still are you scared? <laughs> no, no, no. Go forward. Don't ask the same question. Go forward. I don't know yet, but... Uh... How are you feeling? Yeah, how are you feeling now? My symptoms are getting better, but I still fear that. Um, but the fact that I don't know what it is is still... Question getting... only. Yeah, how soon <laughs> will I come to know? Um, I don't know. Uh, we need to ask the doctors, so... Are you uh, okay with it? I am okay with uh, some more time being taken, but how much more? Um, about half an hour, but... Uh... And scene. <laughs> Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Oh my God, it's a difficult game again. Okay, who wants to go for question only? See, the, the, here you have to imply the learnings, what we learned, yes and, okay? So when the student, when the doctor says, are you scared? It will be very easy if you say yes, and then ask a question. Okay, so the question only is the second portion of yes and. So if somebody says, are you scared? Yes. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, that is a question. And then she said, okay, uh, how many days can I leave? She said, yes, let me just find out for you. And then, so you always say yes. So there the situation will go forward. Okay, that's a little hint there. Who wants to play question only again? Who's raising hand? Oh, Nivedita is raising hand again. Who else? Come on, come on, champions. All those champions who think you can handle all types of questions. Come forward. No one. Nafid also left the camera. Jina, Jinan. Jinan, are you okay? Okay. Yes, ma'am, I'm okay. Jinan and Nivedita. Okay. The game is Questions only. Remember the base. Yes, and. And if you can't hear it, what do you have to say? Okay. Now, what audience has to say? Three, Three two, two, one. 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 Action. Action. Okay. Uh, the situ is, uh, situation is a student and teacher.
Take it away. Jinan, you're muted. Okay, I'm starting. Okay. Um, hi, Nivedita. Are you prepared for the exam? Yes, and actually, I forgot what is the subject. Can you tell me? Yes, and the questions are not supposed to be told to the students. Question only. Yes, and what chapters have you studied? Actually, I studied English of chapter one to chapter three. Question only. Which is an important chapter? Probably. Actually, I studied from chapter one to chapter three, but which is the important chapter? I have gave questions from chapter 10. Didn't you study that? Okay, and scene, it's not going forward. You're just stopping one, one topic, okay? Chapter, 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 okay? So you have to take it forward. Maybe, you know, why don't you take a rest and then study, okay? Or something like, uh, why don't you take help from your parents? So you take it forward, the scene, okay? Give them a round of applause, please, everybody. Use the reaction button. Thank you so much, Nivedita and Jinan, for coming forward. And I can see that there is a lot of tension building up on everybody's head. But uh, I don't know if my time is up. It's four o'clock already and um, nobody's asked me, uh, how much time do I have or should I hand it over? Omar? You can, just a second, I will ask. You can take five. Five more minutes, I guess. Five more minutes. Okay, let's take five more minutes of feedback, okay? Or any questions. Adib is now raising a hand. Okay, tell me one thing. Did you all learn anything new today? Did you all learn anything new? Was this uh, effective, important? Yes, Adib, go ahead. You want to say something? Yes, yes ma'am. I enjoyed the uh, session a lot. It was very effective and interesting session and I loved it a lot. So, uh, who is this? Ma'am Adib. Adib is your name? Okay, I can't see your face. Could you put your camera properly? Oh, great. Okay, thank you Adib for your feedback. And who else? Who else? All those participants, how did you feel? Okay. Yeah. I'll give, I'll give one. Okay. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this session. And like, I also found it really funny about the topics that were given. Topics, uh, especially the alien civilian as well as the enemy hero. Yeah, was it really was a very nice also. topic. Yeah, but it didn't, it didn't go forward. So it is very important to practice this. Okay, so there are a lot of improv groups. So you should attend such improv groups. So if you attend such improv yeah. groups, you will sharpen your brain because it is more of an Excuse hypothetical me, situation. Ma? Yep. What is the name yes. of civilian name? Normal person. Like, uh, like us, like people in the, in the village or in the town, like normal ma? people, not, not alien, civilian. Ma? Yeah, not policemen, policemen or civilian like that. Ma'am, actually, ma'am, what are the benefits of this yes and in our life? And how will it help us? So what happens is you're thinking critically. When there is a situation, first of all, you, you tell your brain that, yes, there is a situation. And then you, your brain starts thinking on how to handle this particular situation. 
so yes and is more of a listening and thinking critical thinking because you don't know what the situation is it's an hypothetical situation like if you have alien just come in front of you how are you going to react so whatever the alien says first you have to say yes and then ask him a question yes and is a very if an alien yeah. came though in real life uh, we would we probably wouldn't understand a thing considering <laughs> the knowledge of english would be nothing uh, it's 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 a different situation but at least you're prepared alien can be uh, in in other form of unknown things okay unknown things can be considered as alien maybe an interview in an interview the person who's sitting in front of you he's an alien right you actually don't know what he's going to talk about so in that situation also he is an alien but you are a normal person in any situation it can be a case so it is preparing for your unknown thing so hence yes and is important skill to have if you're an entrepreneur if you're a student if you're if you're a smart worker if you're a critical thinker it's very important to keep that in mind that there, there can be any situation but how will you outsmart that situation so one of the tool is yes and to get into the detail of it to ask a correct question to that person so that he he answers he gives you a correct answer so hence the skill is yes and and with that i will conclude the show i wish we could take forward this game every time and uh, whoever is the host maybe you should play this game at least one game one turn yes and and questions only play this game with your parents questions only you know mom ask question why are you still sleeping so you just an- answer the questions mom what do you think i should do after i get up she'll be zonked she'll be like why are you asking this question then she will say okay go and shower okay mom what should i do after showering right try this with your parents it will be too much fun questions only okay over to the host that was an absolutely marvelous speech wasn't it and now i'd like to hand over the session to two of our young leaders nandana and janan for an interactive session nandana is a 17 year old girl who is highly ambitious about pursuing her higher studies in chartered accountancy she she's passionate about singing sketching and reading she also loves writing poems and vlogs She's a problem solver and strongly believes that hard work is the key to success. Jinan is a young coder and computer programmer of Bangladesh. She's an avid book reader certified from the British Council. She's a delegate of Bangladesh at AMUN, pioneer debate debater at the Scholars Club, certified participant at Mathematics Olympiad BDMO. She has been presented on TV several times for being the member and arranger of music ceremonies for kids in channel i so guys take it away thank you so much zara for that wonderful introduction about me hey everyone today we had such an amazing evening in front of us and now we have a small topic to discuss it is about desire okay desire or necessity we all know that necessity is the mother of invention and this necessity can lead us to our goals we all know this so let us prove it with a small quiz and now for this we have hosted i and nandana have hosted a online game it's from gym kit It's more or less like the games we have played before. I'll put the link in the chat. All you have to do is just click the link and you'll be able to join the game. If you're unable to click the link, then Google search gymkit.com/live and enter this code. The code is 551731. I'll also put the code in the chat. Hey, already participants are joining. 
Here's the link again. Okay, so we've got seven players. Okay. Okay, so I don't think anyone else will be joining, so I'm starting the game. So before I start the game, there's something I need to tell you that is, this is a game where there will be lava rising and you have to work with your team answering the riddles that we have put as questions and your desire to stay alive will help you live. You have to build the blocks and the lava will rise. Once the game will end, but still your desire will take you forward. Okay, so if you can't join the link, then you can enter this and enter the code. Wait, I'm giving you the link. Okay. This and this is the code. Yeah. Okay, so we have got 11 players, so I guess we should start the game. The lava is rising. Work together to keep your building above the lava. Purchase builds in the shop and survive as long as you can. The game has officially started because the floor is lava. Okay, so we have 1,300 blocks so far, but the lava will be rising. You cannot see the lava in your screen. You'll just be able to see the questions. The lava is in the host screen. Okay, so you have to answer the questions as fast as you can because the lava rises really fast. Each time it rises by 10%. So you have to have the desire to make more blocks. Okay, now it finished construction on a blank one block. And the lava is just increasing by 10%. Nitisha finished construction on a brink. She did 20 blocks. Hiranmai has started constructing on a staircase. Nafit finished construction on a brick, 20 blocks. Hiranmai finished construction on a staircase, 400 blocks. The block is increasing, but the lava is increasing at the same time. Hiranmai finished construction on a staircase. Okay, you're doing a lot. Tanzila finished construction on a plank, one block. Nidisha finished construction on a brick, 20 blocks. Nafit did 400 blocks by constructing on a staircase. We started off with 1,300 and now we are at 2,163. Nafit has given 20 more blocks and Nidisha has started the staircase. Okay, Nidisha has 400 blocks. Nafit has one more block. The block is increasing and the lava increased by 30% more. Okay, the lava is increasing very fast. I guess the game ended. You went very far with your desire, but the lava was impossible. So we had 11 builders and the blocks were 2,606 and our lava survival time was two minutes and 14 seconds. And we had 14 pieces. Okay, so the reason for which we decided to give this game is to tell you guys about how important desire is to be a part of our life. Okay, so let me tell you more about desire. These slides were made by Nandana. 
Napoleon Hill once said, the starting point for all achievement is desire. Yes, indeed it is. So moving forward, I want to ask you three questions and you can raise hands to answer them. How committed are you to achieve the goal? Take a moment to think about the goals you have set for yourself. And you can raise your hands and tell me what are the goals that you have and how have you committed yourself to achieve them? You're waiting for your hands. Yeah, sorry? What is the meaning of the goals? The meaning of what? Goals. Goals. Okay, something that you want to be in life. What do you want to be in life? Okay. And what have you done to achieve that in life? No one? Okay, then I'm choosing randomly. Um, why not Srinidhi or Tanzila try? Nivedita, you can try too. Anyone, just anyone. The goals that you have set, under what conditions would you like to give up? And will you ever change your goals if the circumstances make you do so? These are the three can questions. I start? Can I start yeah, the sure. Go on. I would like to become in a team. So maybe I could play music all around and write many songs. Oh, that's great. And when do you want and to also, get And also I started learning to, you know, play the piano. Oh, that's really amazing. I don't know how to play the piano anyways, but like, do you want to change your dreams anytime? Yes, I would like to. Okay. So we have a response in the chat. Adib wants to get good marks in assets and exams. So... Under what circumstances would Adib give up? If you can't unmute, you can put it in the chat. Although it's it's allowed, you can unmute and talk. Okay, so this interactive session we have another question for you. And this is something that I'm sure you're all very aware of. Today is Guru Punima. This is a celebration which is not just meant to be religious, it is meant to be worldwide because teachers are the backbone of the nation. Okay, so for this, I have a question for you. You can either write it in the chat or tell me because this is something that I want you all to think about since teachers are the reason for which we are what we are today. So I'd like to remove my spotlight and bring you all in. Tell me about your favorite teacher and why she is your favorite teacher. And how did she contribute to your life? You can write it in the chat, you can unmute, you can raise your hand, you can say it anywhere because today is Guru Purnima. And Guru Purnima is meant to be for the teachers. You all know it, right? Okay, can someone tell me? So don't you have any favorite teacher at school or somewhere, a teacher who helped you? Okay, 
let me tell you about my favorite teacher. My favorite teacher was a teacher when I was in grade KG. She has taught me a lot because back then I was very into arts and crafts. So today, even today I do a lot of arts and I love crafting a lot. I make origami. Moreover, I do wall art, you can see behind. So she was the one to inspire me a lot. And I don't know where she is today, but still I remember the contribution she's made. So you can, can tell can? about her. Yeah, sure. Go on. Actually, I think I don't know in which section I was in. Maybe in. Um, it is your UKG. So, um, my, I don't know what my name was, but actually, she was my favorite teacher. And actually, I loved her a lot. And I need to listen. Actually, she was my most favorite teacher. Okay, what subject did she teach you? She was actually my class teacher. Okay, so why do you like her so much? You know, uh, that time when I was here that little, um, um, uh, I like her so much because she was so kind and very nice to me and all my friends. And then also I met Tadjohana Jyoti. She was, I think, LKG or UKG, I don't know. But now, again, right now in fourth grade, so again, Jahana is in my class and I'm so happy. Okay, so today's Guru Purnima, did you talk to her? Like, do you have contact with her? I don't know if I still have her, you know, number or not. Oh, that's great. If you get the opportunity, then tell her, Guru Purnima. Okay, so okay, so we have uh, other responses in the chat. It's from Gaurav. He says, my favorite teacher is Anita ma'am. She was my math teacher. She teaches so well. Thanks to her that I'm so good at math. Yes, there are certain teachers who are the reasons for which you become good at math at times. Not just math, other subjects too. Okay, so we had a lot of fun in Guru Purnima. Again, once again, Guru Purnima, so I'd like to pull conclusions. Thank you so much. Okay, we have another response in the chat. Tanha said, my favorite teacher was my class teacher when I was in fifth grade and my present English teacher. When she was my class teacher, she would always stay with us and tell us to stay together in unity no matter what. She used to encourage us to do whatever we like and let us learn with our friend itself so that we won't feel left out or sad. That is amazing. And Tanha, if you have contact with your teacher, then don't forget to wish her Guru Purnima today. Thank her for what she did to you. Okay, so now I'd like to hand over the session to the host for the week. Zara, take it away. Thank you so much, guys, for that absolutely fabulous interaction. Thank you so much, guys, for that absolutely fabulous interactive session and an online game. Now, that was a fantastic evening we all experienced right now. So to pull conclusion, I would like to hand over the session to the, um, to the amazing EM of this week, Omar. Yeah, 
It was a very fascinating and engaging session. Today, really, we had a very beautiful theme explained by host Anayana Shaiju Ma'am. First of all, I would like to thank the Young Empowerment Talks Club for organizing such a beautiful session. My heartfelt thanks goes to the guest speaker of today, Nayana Ma'am. She was very helpful to all of us. Thanks to Zara for hosting this session with a wonderful speech. Thanks for interactive session by Jinan and Nandana. And really, I'm waiting for the next session. All of you do join us next Saturday. Thank you. Till then, bye bye. And now I would like to hand over the session to the host back. Yes, indeed. That was a fantastic session and would love to hear your feedback. Do you have any feedback, guys? If you don't have, then feel free to leave. Actually, I have some something to tell. Yeah, sure. Well, actually, I uh, once start attending the class from you know seventh August because I will have yoga classes and actually my yoga classes will start at five o'clock. 